Good evening, Mr. Peterson. Good evening. May I come in? Can I offer you something to drink? No, thank you. I'm here to discuss your husband's case. Of course. Have you found his killer? Not yet. Uh, I have a few more things I need to ask you. I need to gather some more information about the last few weeks. What do you need to know? Was your husband acting differently in the days before his murder? Not that I noticed. Is there any reason he might have been fearing for his life? Not that I know of. He got accident insurance two weeks before his death. Why? We were told it was a smart thing to do in case of an accident. Harold was the one that wanted it. Two guys from his work ended up in the hospital in the same week. He wanted to be covered in case anything happened to him. You see, I don't believe that. Excuse me? I don't think it was in case of an accident. I don't think it was his idea. Is that so? Yes, I believe it was your idea that you set this up so that you could profit from his death. How was I supposed to know when he died? Because you killed him. That's outrageous. I had no reason to kill Harold. I loved him. That's not what I've concluded. Several witnesses have said that you despised your husband. I'll say that you did an excellent job of covering your tracks and providing false leads. But now I've pieced it all together and you'll have to come with me. Well, aren't you a clever man? I'll be honest, I underestimated you. I didn't think you would be able to figure it out. But now that you have, you've left me with no choice. It's a shame, really. I didn't want to have to kill you. Is that the same gun you used to kill Harold? Yes, and I find it ironic that he was the one that purchased the murder weapon that was used against him. And now the same one will be used for me? Yes, but first, who else knows about your findings? Everybody knows you're a suspect. I'm the only one who has the evidence to convict you. I see. Any final words? You're a good murderer, Mrs. Smith, but you talk too much.